So just a quick explanation of how I have it hooked up. Uh, this tablet, actually I can take this off. This isn't permanent. I'm going to come up with a more permanent way to keep this uh, front on there. But for now, I can just it's just a piece of Velcro. I can take it right off. If, if you look closely, you can see where the... Uh, you can see it better in the pictures that I posted. That's the uh, it's a three signal headphone jack left right and for that external mic. And then right here, I've got I disassembled a uh, Samsung dock that is specific to this tablet. Oh, by the way, this is the uh, if I haven't mentioned it before, this is the Galaxy Tab 2 7.0, uh, and they have a generic for I think all Samsung tablets a dock and I show pictures of that as well. I disassembled the dock and just got the uh, the ribbon cable out of it so that I had this really thin I wouldn't have to do any uh, cutting into the vet itself. Uh, the only modifications to the actual Corvette I had to make was this guy right here. Uh, I dug into the temperature controls just a little bit so that I have access to the power button in case the tablet ever dies. Uh, I couldn't find a better way to automatically turn it on. Uh, I won't keep looking into this, but for now I had to have access to the power button. So I I just dug into this a little bit. You know, it it may make some cringe, but number one, you can get these pretty cheap on eBay. If I were to massively screw it up, and and I just don't really see that it's a a huge deal. So I have access to the power button now with you know a small modification. One other small modification was. Just on the back side of this bezel, I had to dremel just a little piece of plastic just below where this plugs in on on the bezel itself, not on the on the dash, but on this radio bezel that you remove. I had to uh, just uh, file back a small piece of plastic that extended that was uh, hitting the, the the headphone jack, so I had to do that. But it was a small modification. You can't even tell if I didn't. If I didn't tell you, you probably wouldn't even notice if I showed you the back of this thing. So, not a big deal. That was one of my main uh, goals of this project was I didn't want to modify the Corvette at all. You know, we all love our cars, especially, you know, a Corvette. So, I didn't want to hack into this thing and, and start cutting things up because I'm not a good enough fabricator to fix my mistakes. So, I, I, wanted, I also wanted this to be repeatable for other people, uh, you know. So, I wanted to make these videos... Uh, and post as many pictures as I could so that if somebody else wanted to do that they could because uh, I think it's a really cool project, it's a very functional project the project cost all said and done is still less than your typical 7 inch touchscreen aftermarket stereo by a Pioneer or a Kenwood or an Alpine you're running five, six, seven hundred dollars uh, and on up you know up to two, two thousand dollars for for really fancy ones that's gonna cost you hundreds more and isn't gonna be nearly as fun or as functional, you know, I can I can do all the things on here that any tablet can do. Check my email, you know, things like that. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I can show you that as well. Uh, some of the functionality here, you know, you've got your notifications, I'm playing music. It, it also shows that I'm playing music on Player Pro, so I've got two different players. I can switch back and forth between them if I want. Uh, this app here is called Tablet Talk. That's actually a really cool app. So I'll show it to you just briefly. Um, I'm actually recording with my phone, so I can't give you a full functional demo yet. Maybe I'll try to. I've got an old camera that can take some crappy video. I'll give you a functional demo. But what Tablet Talk allows you to do is it's connected to my phone right now. Well, actually, it's not. That little red means it's not connected. But um, when it's connected to my phone, it will automatically display any text mes messages that I receive or any calls that I receive and actually I can actually answer them from the tablet and what's cool about that is it also controls uh, a Bluetooth headset if it's connected to my phone so once I get my Bluetooth hands-free kit installed which is uh, probably going to be a Parrot CK3000 uh, it's just their base model hands-free kit it'll be Bluetooth connected to my phone so I can make hands-free calls while I'm driving down the road but when somebody calls me I don't have to pull the phone out or anything. Well, you can use the, the CK3000 itself uh, to answer the call, but you can also use the tablet. It'll pop up. I've tested it uh, successfully. It'll pop up with wh whoever's calling with the, uh, with, the, uh, with the picture of whatever's on your phone, and you can answer it or ignore it just like you would on your phone. 
Also, when you get text messages, it'll pop up on the screen. You, got, you can reply to it, which obviously isn't very safe. I'm not going to text message while I'm driving down the road, but you can see that somebody texts you, um, which is really cool. You know, so um, you can also make phone calls from the tablet. It'll it'll come up with a full uh, number pad. Uh, I don't think it supports uh, voice call, voice calling, but I think the CK3000 itself does. So I don't think there's an issue there, but it's really nice to be able to see who's calling uh, on on your main screen. So if you you know you don't feel like answering it or whatnot, you don't have to. Uh, what other apps do I have on here that are cool? Uh, my voicemail is set up through Google Voice, so voicemails will come up on here automatically as well. I don't, I don't have to get into my phone for that. If I get a voicemail while I'm driving down the road, um, this will notify me new new Google voicemail, and I can I can click. I don't know if I got anything I don't want people to see. <laughs> but uh, so here's my, my voicemails. I can go into uh, I can go into one and I can play it. Hey bro, it's Meg. Um, just had some technology questions because you know you're a geek and all. So um... So I can listen to my voicemails while I'm driving down the road, which is nice. Netflix, probably not safe. Be watching movies while driving down the road, but I've got that on there for right now. I tested that out; that works just fine. iHeartRadio is a really good one. Uh, most people know what that is. I've also got, uh, you know, your internet browser and stuff, so I can do whatever. I, like I said, it's a tablet. You can do whatever you want, just like a tablet. So, oops. Um, okay, let's go back to how this thing is connected. So I have this headphone jack, which is three signal, left, right, and the external mic. Uh, I have that going out to an, uh, a Stinger RCA cord that travels underneath the dash and goes to my audio here. This is an audio control epicenter. It is a line driver, so it boosts the signal and uh, cleans up the signal. And also it's a bass recreation circuit, which I actually don't really like. Um, I'm not even really using it. I have it turned it down all the way. It basically uses higher frequency signals to recreate a bass channel, and I don't really like it. It doesn't sound natural to me. It doesn't sound right. So I have it turned almost all the way down, but it does boost the signal. Then I've got my JL amplifiers here. One of them's a subwoofer amplifier. One of them's the speaker amplifier, and I have my crossover unit. Um, this stuff all looks a little gaudy right now as far as being right behind the seats, but I am going to, in the near future, install a panel. We have this, you know, this this hump right here, and it, the hump actually goes up higher than any of the electronics. So I'm going to attach just a panel to the this, this is the sub box right here, just so and carpet it to match the the vet so that it it just covers everything up and it looks a little bit cleaner. Because right now all of it's exposed. I tried to do the wiring as as nice and neat as I could, but it's still you know it's not for everybody. So that's how I have it hooked up right now. And yeah, I think that's all I have to show for now. I'll create another video in the uh, in the near future uh, once I get the hands-free uh, kit installed, that Parrot kit. I will uh, do another demo of it from a different camera so that I can show receiving and sending calls and how all that works together. And I will also send or create another video uh, when I get uh, steering wheel controls figured out. I've already got part of them figured out. Um, I've got the buttons. I ordered them online from Performance Corvettes. Johnny over at Performance Corvettes, he, he always helps me out and he had some parts that he sent. So I have the buttons for the media and the, the, the Bluetooth answer call, end call buttons. And since I don't have a heads up display, these are all, this is a dead panel for me. But I ordered these buttons as well. And I've actually already got them working. Uh, with the stereo, I can use it to turn the volume up and down and to skip tracks and things like that. I've already got that working. I just need to build the circuit itself to interface. I just have it on a breadboard and it's very crude at this point. Uh, but once I get that built, uh, I'll actually have controls. But the steering wheel controls are a little different. They're not dumb switches. They're actually a, a power-driven uh, signal circuit. 
so it's not just uh, when you press the button it doesn't just complete the circuit like a dumb button would so it's not as simple to interface with these guys but I've got a few ideas on how to do that I'll uh, create another video later for that so yeah I mean anybody that's dealt with Android tablets at all knows what all you can do with a tablet regardless of where it is so take all that functionality put it in a vet and I think you've got a pretty awesome combination so uh, it was a lot of fun I've still got a, lo a long ways to go and yeah so thanks for watching um, please post on the vet forums my my ID on there is SDB underscore FTW so um, feel free to ask me as many questions as you want I, I, I really enjoy helping other people uh, if they want to tackle something like this or if you have just general questions and curiosity about the project I'd be happy to answer them and I'm on there quite often so hope you guys enjoyed